When are you leaving? You're going to run in tennis shoes? You're not filming. I'm filming myself. Hi. I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't trust me? Oh, golly. I can't decide if it's better to go upstairs or if it's better to be down here. Literally, the teenagers keep the blinds shut. I've just opened them and I was like, it's dark outside. But look at this, this is amazing. So you know how you always lose chargers? Get ready. Look at this. One, two, three, four extra cord all in that backpack. No one in this family has chargers. They say we have too many pillows and not enough chargers. Happy late birthday to your, is this a trust free session on the big page? Oh <laughs> that was Thomas, not Russell, Tom. Russell is at work and Amos is upstairs doing magic tricks. And I'm sitting here pondering our future. Are you familiar with the app called Saturn? So somebody sent it sent me that exact question in because tonight's a Q&A and I um I looked into it and of course my son Russell has the app Saturn. It's so you can find people in your classrooms, but it does seem to have a tinge of danger to it. About like anything did Big T ever get a new car? And no. No. No new car for Big T. Other things on the agenda. Trust. Trust tree. You can't have too many pillows. The male species detest pillows in this house. Yeah, too many pillows, not enough chargers. I mean, why are there so many pillows on the bed? Where are the chargers? Is this Thomas interview hour? Well, I just said, are you going to come on with me? And he was like, no, I'm going running. Because I've been trying for 45 minutes. Yay, Jocelyn. Um, no, I did not see Carrie Curiello's, Carrie Curiello's post on Autism of the Seas. But I need to watch it because I'm interested in that. And heavens to know, Amos loves going on a cruise boat. And it would be nice to be on um, a cruise where you weren't going to maybe stand out as much. Like today, I just wrote this post I put up on Instagram about, um, we were just walking down the beach and Amos was about 10 or 15 steps ahead of me. And this family had a, like they were building, not a castle, but they had a hole. So I saw him step into the hole, which I was like, okay, it's not a castle. He's not messing it up. And I'm behind him. Well, I see him lean over and as there, as the family says, um, be careful. He picks up like, this is the crab and this is him. He picks it up like this and it grabs his, between his like, pinky finger in his hand and it's hanging on. He yells. Those people feel bad. I'm like half annoyed at them for not being like, stop. But then I was like, that's unreasonable. Okay. Why do you have glasses down here? Well, you can use paper cups or plastic. Okay. I have washed so many dishes. I changed nine beds between last night and today at lunchtime. Nine beds. I have a new respect for people that work in hotels, motels. That is a lot of bed changing. 
and bunk beds. Changing bunk beds, I mean, that is what, like, if I ever go to prison, I hope I don't get that job. I would rather, like, spoon out mush than change bunk beds. I guess in prison, people don't get all those sheets. That is Thomas's blanket from his bed. You have been told to stop taking his things. Okay. He took this shirt. I got it back today. Where are the pups? They're on the counter. Okay. And those glasses need to be put back in the cabinet. Glasses Who's, are dangerous with Amos around. Whose AirPods are the Thomas in there? I have no idea. You have to be a gymnast. Bunk bed and linen changes are the pits. Yes. When do the kids start back? Um, let's see. Two. When do they start back? Two weeks. Once. Two. Three start in two weeks, and one starts in. No. Three start in two weeks, and one starts in three weeks. Do you clean daily or once a week? <laughs> well, I'm not even going to impress you make your own bed. That's good. That's, I know. I do sort of like the idea of prison. It seems so relaxing, other than people trying to get me. But I can tell you what, they would not want me because I fight like a cat dipped in a bathtub. Is Amos asleep? No, he's not asleep. He's upstairs. He has used a whole bottle of Dawn detergent and been washing dishes. And um, I said, use a paper towel to clean up this water. And he took a roll of paper towels. Now she's tattled on him. King size beds. Oh, I like those. You know what thing I decided though today after changing six bunk beds? That twin extra large sheet thing is a total like rumor. Somebody just made those up and said you need to buy them. Because I don't own any and I've never used them at camp and they always say bring extra long. It doesn't matter. What did you just say to me? Amos was doing science, so then I said I, I said, I said, Mom, Amos is doing science again. And he said, no, Amos is not doing science. Amos is done with science. And he walked back to the couch. What? Has he made another mess? No. I didn't let him. I told him I'm going to quit. Get it, Blair. Real moment. Thank you. Where did you put your phone? He doesn't. Amos doesn't want me to catch him doing science. Poor thing. He's ready for school. Colleges use extra twin large sheets. I'm telling you, they say they do, but they don't. I have never. Look, I'm telling you people, you've all been duped. You've been duped. You do not need XL sheets. They say that they need them at my boys' school. You don't need them. Camp, never bought them. Been places where they say I need them. Have never not had a twin sheet fit on the bed. Never. Never. Ever. It's a fallacy. A total fallacy. You inspired me. My husband and I moved to a small beach town in Michigan to raise our kids. You moved for his job. Well, that's exciting. Um, I was thinking today about all the teachers getting ready for school. So a good friend of mine in Edenton, they, the teachers start back on Thursday and I am so appreciative of them and hope everybody else is too. Your teachers work really hard. Try Betty's bedding. Oh, I had Betty's bedding, Lucretia. I had Betty's bedding and then, so the Betty's bedding just goes over the mattress and you zip. It is not bad, other than the fact that you have to take the whole mattress off the top bunk to get it on there. A mattress topper. I'm done with mattress toppers. In fact, I'm at this point where my daughter was like, I need school supplies. I was like, do not. 
go clean out your backpack from last year and get all your crap out of there. Pencils and markers and crayons, post-it notes. I mean, I'm, like what year do you just say, this is year, how many years have I had children in school? This is year 13. After a dozen years, I think you're like, eh, I'm not buying any more stuff. I'm done. You've got plenty. Teenagers make you tired. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Then I have to go pick one up at 11. And then I take him to tennis at 8 a.m. Like an Uber driver that doesn't get paid. You're already back to school in Florida. So no questions tonight? No questions? This is your big chance. So this is how my subscriber videos. My subscriber videos are just people, it's a, more like a chit chat. So I thought, well, this would be nice to um, have a way to let people every once in a while see what the subscriber group is like. I can, no, I can't see any comments though. I'm in Florida. Oh, it's because my eyes are old and tired. Do you and Kate and Carrie have any more lives soon? Yes, so we have a live Kate Swenson of Finding Cooper's Voice and Carrie Curiello. And I do a live every Wednesday night um, on our pages. We take turns. So my last, mine was last week. And I think this week is Kate. Kate's week. Is Blair going to boarding school? Uh, that's our plan for her to go. But you know what they say about plans. What will you do the first day the kids are back at school? Oh, here now, here come the questions. Um, well, long ago, before I had Amos, and maybe I wasn't working, I would go to the swimming pool alone, like get a bunch of People magazines and um, sit my fanny right there. Isn't that fun? And I used to have a friend that would have people over for like a champagne or something. I don't think she does anymore. Um, what will I do on the first day of school? Well, I'll still have one at home when the three of them are gone. So I guess once the real first day of school happens, when they're all gone, I think I'll have Nurse Gina at my house. So I'll probably just be sitting around chit-chatting with Nurse Gina. I would love to say that I was like going to just relax, but I won't. I have to catch up on work. I'm getting ready to. <laughs> Do y'all remember when we had lice? I'm doing a little um, campaign with the moose, the lice people. So that's a video that's coming out soon. And then I'm doing something on um, heart attacks and young athletes. So I have a call about that tomorrow. So that's a big campaign that's coming out. Robert Johnson Foundation, still working with them. Um, got some good stuff on the agenda. Where did you go to high school? Share with us where you went to high school. I went to Salem Academy, which was an all-girls boarding school. And on the SAT, I got a score that shocked the world. A 980. Did you think I said 1980? I said a 980. I wasn't a very good tester. <laughs> you know, and then I went to Meredith College, which was probably the best thing ever. Does Russell have a college choice yet? Um, Russell thinks he would like to go to Carolina too. Everybody in this house wants to go to Carolina. I don't know where they get these ideas. I did go for my master's there. I think they think it sounds fun. I have COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm glad you're taking Paxil then. Um, so my one son heads back in two weeks and the next one in three weeks. Honor, come! If I walk out here, I'll lose my signal. Honor Wood, come! Um, how many are signed up for your October? So I have a big weekend in October. I think we have just at 200. I'm cutting sign up off September 1st. 
I don't think too many more will sign up. We'll see. Does Amos have a one-on-one -on -one para in the general ed class most of his day? He does not, Jill, and that is a great question and something I really should talk about more. I'm always hesitant, not hesitant, but I, I'm really happy with Amos in school, but then I wonder, like, am I happy because I don't know enough to not be happy? Or, you know, we know that parents are bad judges of quality. So sometimes when we, you ask a parent, like, do you like your child care center? Well, they're always going to say yes, because no parent wants to admit, I put my baby in this place that's terrible. So I'm a little aware that am I biased? But we, we had a really good year last year. Amos was in a traditional second grade classroom for a good part of the day. Come on. In fact, when he wasn't, it was his own choosing. He got to go to the um, exceptional children's class, which was kind of good. He could sort of have some downtime in there. Honor, come. And he, she's scared of this very large duck that someone brought us. Come on. That duck is not going to get you. And he had a great year. And so this year he's at a, a new school. They're, they're attached to each other and actually have shared leadership, which is brand new and great. And um, there aren't exceptional children's classes. There's a resource teacher. So I think the plan is for him to be in the traditional third grade class. And then he, the resource teacher will push in and he will go to her some. And she is awesome. And he has an awesome teacher. And he has some people from his class last year. Um, so I'm really really, really, really excited a lot about that. And, you know, you wonder, you sometimes, you might think, well, you know, what does she care about public school? She's got kids in private school or this, that, or the other. You know, I always loved children from the time I was tiny. And when I went to Meredith and majored in child development and ended up in early intervention and educational research. And, you know, there was a time in my life where I thought, I might not get married. I might not have children. Not that I didn't want to, but I just thought maybe it's not in the cards for me. And um, so if I didn't have kids and I was talking about public education like I am now, I wonder if people would ever say to me, uh-uh, no, ma'am, you've just been out. Well, you don't have a right to have an opinion about education. You don't have any children. I don't think people would say that, but there's something about, well, you're not using the public education system, um, maybe in the way that I'm supposed to, but you could say that for people that don't have four kids, or maybe they have two, or, you know, but I, public education is in our state constitution. It is important, and when you have school systems like mine that are either the biggest, I think our school system is the biggest employer in our district, our county, and you have to really acknowledge that too. So you have the hospital and the school system. Those are your big employers. And in a town near us, Martin County in Williamston, their hospital closed two weeks ago. And that's really hard on a community. And so when we talk about vouchers and, you know, all sorts of things that take money away from public schools, um, it's, it's nerve wracking because we need to be concerned about our small communities, you know. Um, I wish I had time to join more than one group. Having two in the spectrum, I only have time for the flock group. Watching you tell it like it is. Well, I try to. Amos doesn't seem to do the echo as much as he used to. I don't, um, no. He, he does want you to say things, or he'll say, you know, we had... I hadn't shared it, a video of having birthday cake yesterday, and he was like, do you want a big piece? He does tell you what he wants you to say, you know. <laughs> I buy bulk pencils, pens, and speckle notebooks. Oh, that's nice. Do you do lives with Ann Dale? We have not this summer, but we I hopefully will in the fall. Maybe not every week. I think I got overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed with anything every week. That feels like, I mean, I just... It's just too much. Did Amos ever sleep in a crib? My granddaughter with autism never would. She is two now and sleep is a problem. So he slept in a crib until he was <laughs> about six. And sleep evidently was a problem. 
but I didn't know it because he was in a crib. He didn't cry, He, but he clearly was awake a lot because now he, no, ma'am, come here. Uh-uh, stop. Because now he is awake a lot um, or sleeps with us. Now, this is a, a fun conversation to have. When I am not home or if our caregiver has him, he sleeps in his bed and does fine. When I am home, he is in our bed. And you might be like, well, why is that? I don't know. All I know, all I know is that I need sleep and I need a lot of it. And considering that I have to pick somebody up at 11 at night and take them somewhere at 8 a.m., that's a very short window for sleep. That's nine hours. Mm -hmm. So me, me must sleep a lot. What would be your dream job if you weren't doing this? Oh, a neat question. You know, I... Um, I really love what I do. I love getting to do these medical campaigns. I love being able to take trips and do social media for Deer Valley or Wintergreen or Legoland Hotels. Like, that's super fun. Um, I, like, I like thinking about marketing and how to help businesses. Even though I have no training or knowledge in that area, I just do from, I guess... Just like somebody that I've learned just from what I do of what works and what doesn't work. Um, so I would love to do more of that. I taught at NC State long ago, and I that was a really hard, that was the only hard thing about moving from Raleigh to Edenton back in the day is that I could really see myself doing that. And, um, and I could do it at the community college at home, but when the kids were little, it didn't make sense because you didn't get paid enough to even pay for the babysitter, so... Um, and I had three small children at the same time. So, I really like what I do. I really like what I do. Now, it, it's not perfect, but I do like it. Will we see you and Anne together in the fall? Well, I will reach out to her tomorrow and tell her we need to get on the schedule. When does the trial start for the girl that was abducted from her driveway and murdered? I don't know. I'll have to look. Do they live at boarding school? Um, yes, they are in, they live in dorms at school. And then we see them, we see them probably about every three or four weeks, I would say. Sometimes more, not usually less. Where do you get all your eyeglasses? Um, I get them, and I love a small business, so I care with Edenton, and um, they do not have Facebook or a website, but if you call and say, I love Adrian's glasses, they can send you a list of all the ones I have, and you can order them from them, because they're awesome. Dr. Benkuski. Feels like summer just started. I used to make breakfast with mimosas. <laughs> How's your book coming along? Um, it has not been coming along since I worked on it for a week in June. So that is all that has happened with it. So I have another kind of project I'm working on, which is I put ahead of that. It's sort of a surprise. I haven't really talked about it yet. Did you even go? I ran 20 minutes. Was that like a, a half mile? Um, our school started in Tennessee. How much respite does the state of North Carolina allow families? You know, Jane, I'm not sure. We don't have the waiver. We're on the wait list for the waiver. Um, I think it just totally depends on the needs of your family. While you're on the wait list, you get, I think we get 40 hours a month, 10 hours a week, maybe. Unless I just made that up. Oh, I'll have some water. Fine. Hold on, I can't see. When are you coming to Seattle? I am serious about treating you and Amos or whoever else at Molly Moons for ice cream. Well, that is very nice. Um, 
he wants to come for his birthday unless we end up on a cruise, which I would prefer because I'm not crazy about flying all the way to Seattle with Amos because it is a very long way. How do you become successful on social media? How do you, Thomas? You get lucky. <laughs> you have children who are just full of funny little quips. get lucky and have Amos. Now that's true. That's really a nice way to say it. We did get lucky and had Amos. I wasn't a good tester either. What is your favorite thing to do? I'd say exercise. I love to run, play tennis, pickleball, basketball, Pilates, I do a lot of exercise, a couple hours every morning. Yeah, I know you really had to re recover from your triathlon. Yeah, I did the triathlon. It's really good. <clears throat> when did Amos learn to read? Um, he learned to read before he was potty trained. We didn't know he could read, and he read my coffee cup one day. And it was like from some marketing company or something. I would love to see you, but all your posts you make about you and your kids in a book. I hope so. Does Amos have stomach issues? No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No video? No. Anna and I. No, you're not involved in the video. No. Out. Out. No, ma'am. I'm telling you, shush. Is there a notation on the screen signifying your subscriber? Yes, Susan, there should be. Usually like a little blue badge. Did you get your hair done again? It looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. No, but I washed it. How about that? With chlorine shampoo. Hey, Sparky. Do you like, did you like being sent away from home to school? No, I hated it. That's why I did it to my children. No, I did like it. You want to ask Thomas? Thomas, do you like being sent away from home to school? Yeah. That sounds so so terrible. I don't like home. <laughs> school is home. It's more That's... like it's more like where you do you like being sent home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you like being sent home? That's terrible. <laughs> you do like being at home. <laughs> I mean, that is downright mean. I mean, I have given you my life. <laughs> my whole life has been given to you. And then that's what happens. Do you think Amos will always be with you or will he be able to live independently in the future? Well, I answer that question. We talk a lot about that with my friends, Kate and Carrie. I, he will not always live with me because I'm not always going to be alive. So when people say my child's going to always live with me, I don't know how they say that because it is not possible. So he's going to have to live in some sort of independent living situation. We, um, we don't quite know what that looks like, but there are some lots of different options. And as time goes on, the more and more I hear different ones, which is nice. And so, you know, our plan is for him to have his own space, whether he has roommates or um, how independent can he be? I don't see him being, I don't really see him living alone. Do you? Well, with his wife? Amos married? Amos is getting married. I have trust. Well, that's not about trust. Amos is not getting married. Why not? I'm not even sure you're going to get married. And you're fairly, yeah, really married. you're fairly typically developing. I don't really know if I want to get married. You don't want to get married? I prefer to live the Horace lifestyle. 
It's going to live like Horus. Same as you. Amos is Godfather, who's 60 and single. Single, no. Oh, golly, Maxis. Polygamy? 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 And he practices polygamy. He's not a polygamist. That's he people does. that are married to multiple wives. He practically is. Does, how does Amos deal with going back to school? Um, he is not very excited about it. He keeps saying he's going back to school and keep his cane at where my parents are in Florida. No school in Edenton. He's going to go to school at the condo. He's not going to go to school. He does not even want to talk about school. When did he learn to read? Did you ask me that? He was three or four. Where is your condo? It's down Atlantic Beach. Oh, we like NC State. My granddaughter moved into her apartment today in Chapel Hill as a junior. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I'm signing up on Friday, 2 a.m. in the UK. Thomas, have you adjusted your time change? 2 a.m. in the UK. I have adjusted. Fully. Was it hard at first? Yeah, it's harder that wedding. Are your local hotels all booked for my weekend? Uh, no, there's a few rooms left in town. Does he like school? Yes, he does like school. Who? Amos. No, he doesn't. You said he didn't want to go back. Well, he doesn't like going. He doesn't like going back to do anything. He doesn't even want to leave the beach to go back to Edenton. <sighs> Amos likes to do whatever he's doing in the moment. Though he, who doesn't want to be at the beach? He's sitting up there while Thomas watched him eat chocolate cake on my white couch. You opened his eyes to that chocolate cake. <laughs> I opened his eyes to the chocolate cake. Have you had a chance to catch up with any new court cases? Um, no, but I did watch the news tonight and saw that the four divers that were missing off the coast of South Carolina, they found them. I mean, I thought those people were never going to be seen again. Whew. Boy, I bet they were relieved. You're getting in the pool? Yeah. Well, I, I would get in, but I got to get Amos to bed. I'm getting in quick. Like okay. Would you send Amos to boarding school? Um, I don't even feel comfortable having Amos go to camp yet. He's going to get on with the subscribers this week, he said. Um, there's one boarding school, like a Waldorf boarding school for kids with autism up north. I typically never say never, but that is not my plan. What are the two main North Carolina colleges? UNC and NC State. Um, a little Thomas thinks he wants to go to UNC, but I mean, what does he know? I went to both. Could see bunny ears. I'm an ESE pair for Amos. Does he have difficulty with transitions? Um, yes, he does. How is the med change going? Well, he's currently on no medicine except trazodone uh, to sleep. And I messaged the doctor and um, had to reset my password. And then I started this video. So I'm hoping he messaged me back. Usually you're back within like 48 hours. Um, love how his classmates said goodbye to him when he went to the other room. Oh, yeah. Yes, I think his echoing has improved. I don't think he needs a paraprofessional. You know, they say that for kids with autism, sometimes a para can just create, it doesn't help with inclusion because then the child just depends on that adult and the kids see that adult with the child instead of as their friend. So I think Amos being in the classroom with a really good teacher who he's had, well, he's always had great teachers. Um, Okay. I gotta go pick up Russell. I'm trying to get your questions. Love when Amos is on your lives. Balanced in a format. How can you tell if somebody's child is on the spectrum? Other times it's a fight to get her dressed in the morning. Huh. Well, I think you can talk to your pediatrician. I think you could um 
see a pediatric psychiatrist, it's very difficult to find people to see. That's part of the trouble. Um, it might be that she maybe has, I don't know, oppositional defiance disorder, or maybe she has severe ADD, or maybe she has anxiety. You know, it's not necessarily autism. But there might be some strategies you can do, and sometimes medicine can help. Um, you know, it just depends what you need, I guess. Would Thomas and Russell want to go to the same college? I'm sure Russell would love to go to the same college as Thomas. Thomas likes having Russell at school with him, too. He probably doesn't admit it as much, but he really does. As a retired teacher, you are right on the money, and I am grateful. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Um, I'm a retired second grade teacher, and I'm so impressed that Amos was in a traditional classroom setting most of the day. Me too. It just was awesome. Would you ever move to a larger city to get better resources for your son? Um, would the question might be, would I move to get him better resources? Yes. I would, but I don't really see it being a school. I could almost see it be more that we could move somewhere and find a better like living situation for him. But I don't really expect that. Um, I'm really happy where we are. You know, there's this little, an island called Ocracoke and I, and I do think Ocracoke has a K-12 school. And I thought, wow, that what a place for children with a disability to be able to go through the school their whole life, you know. But it, I guess it could be really good or really bad. But I, I, I have thought to myself, boy, it'd be great to live on a little island, you know, where you're just accepted, you hope. Um, but I feel like we have that in Eaton. He is loved and welcomed and smiled at. Pretty much wherever we go, people are happy to see him. The kids really like him. I mean, you can't go to the playground without a child knowing his name. Um, even if you don't know their names, they all know Amos from school, which is really nice. So I'm really happy. Um, happy. Do you think Amos will be with you forever? Oh, I'm like gotten so behind. Questions. Did the results come back on your ear? I have um, a squamous on my ear, so I have to get it taken off. Is Amos a picky eater? Um, you know, he's willing to try, our caregiver's really good at getting him to try stuff. Like yesterday, he was drawing Ritz crackers and different types of cheese. Um, it was real cute. So he will try stuff. I haven't, I'm not always good about making sure he has options of trying things, to be honest. Um, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. My husband, we, we love Ocracoke. Whenever we go, we're like, we could live here. I guess I could work, I could work from anywhere. Um, it'd probably be good for my blog to be somewhere like that because it's so interesting and different, but my husband, you know, is a lawyer and in the courtroom, so he would, it would be hard for him to practice law unless you were a pilot and like, Honor, come here. You're not going to the pool and zipped around on your own plane. You couldn't, it's so hard to get to that part of the state. Um, anyway. No, ma'am. Shh. The town are you saying? Oh, I was talking about Oak Creek. Okay. Some water here. My neighbor moved to a group home. He's in a group home now and thriving. You know, you hear that so often. You really, you really hear that people's kids love it. Is Cape Fear near you? Um, Cape Fear. There are so many freaking flip-flops in this house. I cannot take it. I mean, flip-flops. Lego people. 
more flip-flops. Do lawyers get paid well in North Carolina? Um, yeah, my husband has his own practice. He was a public defender for 10 years, and he has a partner in private practice, and yeah, he does well. He works a lot and really hard, and, um, but yeah. Have you heard of Camp Royale? I have, I have. I've also heard of Camp Carefree, which is a news story because people are all worried that um, the General Assembly is trying to put a bunch of like casinos near it. If you become a subscriber, can you go back and watch the videos? You can, yes you can. You can actually go back and binge for years, which who knows what you might find. Let the dog out before I go, before I go get Russell. Um, can't believe I caught you live. You never know. Can your husband talk to you about a case? Um, not, what is that? Not really. He'll talk to me after they're over or he'll, t I mean, sometimes, but not, not like any client privilege kind of thing, you know, but he'll talk about like in court today, this happened, which I guess is public, you know, knowledge. Come on, honor. Come, come on in. Come, honey, come here. Come, uh-uh, come. Come. You do not need to go to the bathroom. You've just gone out there and stand. Come on, come on. Can Thomas get Russell? Thomas is in the pool. Russell usually gets off at 11, but he worked parking lot tonight. How long have you been doing these videos? I've been doing these videos, a, um, I think I've been how to monetize the last two years. So I, I do the more, you'll see me do more videos than writing because I, um, one, it's super easy. Writing takes a little quiet. I was writing today on my phone, walking down the beach with Amos, and then he got stung by that, bit by that crab. But um, I like videos. I, I like them. It's nice that I can make money because Facebook puts ads on them. But I also like um, particularly my subscriber group, which I do a video every day, every day, pretty much. Maybe one day here and there, I don't. But we, it's a conversation kind of like this is tonight. So usually you would know if you follow me, these big videos are not me answering questions because I'm kind of talking about a topic. But my subscriber videos are just like this, which is super fun, I think. Um, and it makes it nice when we have a big weekend and hundreds of people come in. People kind of know each other. Russell, Russell works at Amos Mosquito, and now I have to go get him. <laughs>